Hey, it's Doug Coy, so what do you think.com? All right, we've had a little bit of time to think about what happened a week ago Wednesday and uh, with the situation that happened downtown. I refuse to call it a riot. What one person has said, which I think pretty much says it the way it is, it was a civil act of disobedience. It was a group of people that decided to break the law and they came down with the purpose of doing that and then a whole bunch of other people got involved. Now I had this discussion with some people this morning and it was really interesting. They said, I wonder if, and now think about this, I wonder if some of these people, like this 17 year old boy that's uh, you know a star athlete, water polo player, if they didn't get caught up in this idea that it was almost like a game they play on a video. You know we have reality, then we have this other side which is what people do when they game. They get in and it, it becomes this whole imaginary thing that's going on but you put yourself into the role and you can pretty much do anything in virtual reality you know you're you're out there you're killing people you're burning cars you're race driving you're flipping cars you're beheading people all that kind of stuff happens in virtual reality I wonder if we haven't crossed the line here some of the people taking pictures of themselves putting it up on Facebook they're living in virtual reality and all of a sudden reality hits home. Wait a second. This wasn't a game. This wasn't something I play on Nintendo or Wii or whatever the games are. It was real. That's yeah. the problem. It was real and I, I don't know. I just it, That kind of stuff can't happen in Canada. This is real life and I am in a whole lot of problems right now. And the humiliation of having to have your picture in the newspaper, your family all of a sudden becomes known for having a son that did something unbelievable, lighting a police car on fire or trying to light a police car on fire. Do you think we have a world of young people now that are having a hard time determining reality and virtual reality? It's an interesting concept. So what do you think?